There are times in an embedded design where you're trying to keep the energy consumption at a specific value, maybe down to one microamp. The new energy profiler allows this with the threshold function. So I'm gonna show you how that works. If you click on this arrow down here, you can select the threshold. So I've set it at two microamps. If that's not where I want it to be, there's an X on the end, you can just um, get rid of it. In fact, maybe a better way to do this, if you zoom in on the Y axis, you have a better view. You can set the threshold to one microamp. So I'm doing this, just dragging all the way down to one, one microamp. So now my threshold is set at one microamp. If that's not the right threshold, just like we did last time, you can hit the X and that eliminates the threshold. So what you see here is, you see the energy graph running and the threshold is set at one microamp. And every time the energy consumption goes across that one microamp threshold, you'll see in the function view down at the bottom, there's a column that says threshold violations. And this is just, this is just a tally of how many times in that function you've crossed the threshold that you set. So this can be very useful as you're energy debugging your system.